Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today I was sitting around thinking, you know what? I want to do another project pan. Crazy, right? Because I've got so many project pans going on and project pans that you haven't even seen yet that you will be seeing in the future, in the near future. Uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and get a little creative and actually start one myself. So what this is, is pan your pet's personality. I have three wonderful dogs. Each one of them has got distinct personalities. So I went ahead and I chose, first of all, five personality traits of each dog. I chose sweet, fierce, old, jealous, and tease. Now sweet, all my dogs are sweet, some more than others, but generally most of the time they're sweet. Fierce. My pug is fierce. Um, he just is. He doesn't give up. It doesn't matter. Uh, whenever I lived in Alaska, he would go up against a wild dog and the wild dog would chase off. So he is the pure definition of fierce. Old, I do have an old dog, and uh, he is going deaf. Actually, he's practically deaf. Uh, so, yeah, I, and it's so sad because I love him so much. Jealousy. My pug gets jealous. My uh, mini dachshund gets so jealous. If you give one, atten one more attention than the other, they're going to be in your face. And a tease. My mini dachshund loves to play this little game where he comes up to you and it's, he's like, pick me up, pick me up. Nah, never mind. I don't really want to be picked up. Or he'll bring you the ball or he'll bring you the rope. And nah, he was just joking. He was just joking. He doesn't want you to have it. And then if you don't fall for it, he'll keep on coming back and then he'll actually want to play. But it's funny because if you go ahead and you continue, if you go down and go for the ball or whatever, he'll just walk away like that. And it's it's the cutest thing in the world. So these are the five products that I went ahead and I picked. For fear or for sweet, I chose the Pharmacy Honey Potion. It's a renewing antioxidant hydration mask. I've never tried this before. So I figure I'll go ahead and I will give this a go. I don't know how many masks I can get out of this, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. For Fierce, I chose Nars Cruella. This is something that every project panner pretty much has panned. And I wanted to show you where I am. This is where I am as far as this, but on my notebook. As you can see, I didn't count the, um, the bottom. So that's about where I am for Nars Cruella. Now what I'm doing with Nars Cruella, I am wearing it on my lips today. I know you can't really tell, but I am actually being brave and panning the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bella. I'll swatch it for you. I don't like the shade at all. It's really bright. It's like a bright pink. And so what I do is I use this and then I use NARS Cruella on top. It kind of tones down the color, I think. So it makes it more wearable for me. I'm brave, I'm brave. And I started to do this today. So let's see how long it takes for me to actually pan a liquid lipstick. I, the curiosity is just killing me. It's just killing me. Now for old, I chose my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Faint. I've had this in my collection for so long. It's one of those deluxe sizes. It's my oldest eyeliners in my collection. And as you could tell from my empties videos and in my other projects, I've got a ton of Urban Decay eyeliners in those because I have a ton of Urban Decay eyeliners. And I just don't feel right getting more eyeliners until I actually get through this. Now I did just sharpen this. And this is where I am. 
So, yep, that is faint. The next one is Jealous. And this was sort of a no-brainer for me. I recently got this in my swap video, if you saw that. This is the Too Faced Melted Metal in Jelly. Naturally, right? Jelly. Um, I'm going to start using this whenever uh, Cruella is gone. So, yeah, I'm thinking that this this is going to be this is going to be a good match, I think, for this. I don't know how it's going to look with these two, but we are going to find out. Next is teas, and for me, again, this was a no-brainer. It is Victoria's Secret Perfume. It's uh, one of their uh, sprays in teas. And this is brand new. I don't know if you could tell, but it's actually, yep, it's in the pack packaging. So I haven't even opened this up yet. So, yep, that's going to be it. So this is going to go on from today, March 11th through May 11th, and I'm going to be doing updates every two weeks. If you guys want to go ahead and do this along with me, let me know. Um, I would love to go ahead and uh, watch your progress if you decide to do this. Uh, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and contact me, all my, all my information will be in the description box below. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.